a very quick uh, presentation just to tell you sometimes you have a patient that they may not be a candidate for hair transplant. You need to know what to do in, in, to make a judgment. Sometimes you, you can send them to do hair piece or um, they are too bald, you can't do the hair transplant and do it justice. Female who comes in and doesn't have enough donor hair, what do you do? So one of the things that can be done is a scalp micropigmentation is a medical tattooing where the dots are deposited on the scalp to imitate hair follicles as if the hair was shaved. Um, it's very popular now in men because they shave heads, so this can only be used with shaved head. Uh, it could be a semi-permanent or permanent pigment. It can be used, so for example, this is a, a young man, Norwood 6 probably. Um, he will shave head and then no surgery, just doing this medical uh, uh, scalp micropigmentation. It looks like as if he has hairline, full head of hair, just decided to shave it. So it looks much better. S scar from the FUT procedure can be camouflaged and then women or men can benefit by um, adding pigment between the hairs to increase visual density. Be wary that a pigment can shift in color or it can shift in, in, in under the skin, it becomes, it kind of bleeds, it becomes a bigger dot. It could be very ugly. Once they have that, they can remove, it, it can be removed with laser, but it's not as easy. It's not just you kind of, oh, I changed my mind. I don't want to do it. So don't just think it's easy to do. Find a professional. Um, and if you want to send a patient, send them to a professional. Hair pieces, that's what, we, when someone hears hair piece, that is what I think. These people wear hair pieces you would not tell because they can be done very well. Um, this is a gentleman who owns a hair uh, piece uh, place. This is his hair piece, hair system. It can look so natural that you can never tell. So someone who wants hair right away, who is not candidate for surgery, doesn't want to shave head, wants full head of hair, there's a solution. It, it can be invest, it's in, in its investment like anything else, but it could still look good. So it's better to uh, offer them that option than to do a surgery, little surgery, then they have little hair and they're never happy. Um, it can also be, a, uh, we can do hair transplant with hair piece. Usually hair piece doesn't have a temporal points and because there are no, uh, no visible temporal points, it it's, uh, doesn't look natural. So if you can transplant and create a temporal points, that's what we did on this patient. His hair piece in the past, he would have to comb it forward to camouflage that where the hair piece connects with the rest. We, we did the uh, temporal points and now he, this is still a hair piece, but it looks more natural. Camouflaging products, they can be fibers that they are bond to the hairs. They create more shadow, I'm sorry, they create more webbing above the scalp. It looks thicker. So casting the shadow over scalp makes the scalp disappear and hair appear darker. So you can make a difference from this hair to that hair by using some of these products. This goes directly onto the scalp and the other one goes onto the hair. The results are immediate. They are washed with shampoo at the end of the day and it can make all the difference in, in a patient immediately, but it's a temporary solution. It's something that you can use um, to camouflage thinning area. You can use after a, a hair transplant when they have a, a post-operative effluvium. Know that hair transplant or surgery is not the only solution. There are other solutions. Be um, aware of what you can offer them, um, but don't just, um, you know now what is available.